All right, so you're thinking about making a move to Arizona. Maybe you're trying to figure out the best place for you to live, and maybe you've got Chandler and Gilbert on your list of potential options to consider. If so, you're not alone. Chandler and Gilbert are definitely two of the most popular destinations uh, to live here in Metro Phoenix. So today we're gonna take you on a tour of both areas. We're gonna show you what it looks like to live there. We're gonna tour two different communities in Gilbert and two different communities in Chandler. And today we're gonna focus on the price point of the kind of the 550 to 600 K range, show you what what you can expect when you're looking for that. There are definitely a lot of similarities when it comes to Chandler and Gilbert. I think we're gonna show you that, um, but we're gonna try to find a few differences as well to see whether or not one might be better for you. So if that sounds like something that might be helpful to you, then stay tuned. What's up everybody, it's Greg Corbett with the AZ Lifestyle Group right here in Chandler, Arizona. If this is your first time to this channel and you're looking to find out everything you need to know about what it's like living in and or moving to the Phoenix metro area, including right here in Chandler and also in Gilbert, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. We are helping people from all over when it comes to finding the best places and neighborhoods to live here and we absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about making a move and you need any assistance whatsoever, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email. However you wanna get a hold of us, we got your back when it comes to moving to the Phoenix Metro. All right, so we are here at SB Park right now in Chandler. Um, wanted to start over here, we've got uh, a lot of fun action going on. We've got some uh, parents and kids playing around. We've got the splash pad going, it's gonna be a, probably a 90 degree day here in uh, early April um, here in the Phoenix area, starting to get a little warm, um, but people are enjoying the warm weather. So uh, I picked this location because it is basically right on the border of uh, Chandler and Gilbert. So um, if we, so I'm, I'm looking south right now, if we um, look towards the east where this neighborhood is, about a half mile, you're gonna jump over to the Gilbert side. Um, we're here on the Chandler side right now. We're off of uh, probably around Warner and um, Arizona Avenue per se, just kind of around that area. So I'll bring up a map so you can see that. But again, the goal today is to kind of show a couple different uh, neighborhoods from Gilbert and Chandler, kind of show you what you're gonna find in the price point of that 550 to 600 price point. So we're gonna showcase two 550 homes, one in Gilbert, one in Chandler, two around just under 600, one in Gilbert, one in Chandler. So you can kind of see, is there a difference? Are you gonna get more for your money in one or the other? So I think there's a lot of positives for both. We're gonna show, um, we're gonna show the positives, we're gonna show some of the differences, and uh, hopefully you can learn something along the way. All right, guys, we are at stop number one right now. Uh, we are in the El Dorado Lakes Golf Course community. Um, really nice community right near Mesa Drive in Guadalupe. Um, the house is directly behind me right here. This is a three bedroom, two bath, 1848 square foot home here in Gilbert, um, listed at 550. So um, we're not gonna go inside the house. I'll pop up a few pictures on screen so you can get a kind of a general look and feel of what it looks like. We typically are going to showcase homes that are fairly move-in ready. So um, that's the goal is to try to compare those type of homes. I do have a little bit of construction noise behind me here. Um, see people doing some landscaping. But if you do look behind me, it's kind of cool, you know, for somebody who might find this house, you've got directly across the street, you've got um, a little play area for the kids, you've got a tennis court, um, just kind of nice little views, not uh, neighbors all over the place. So um, there's a lot of cool things about this neighborhood. So let's tour around a little bit. I'll kind of showcase what the neighborhood looks like and kind of stop at some of the, the fun stuff that you might see. All right, so I uh, went across the street over to the Cocapelli Golf Course. This is the golf course that kind of runs throughout the community here at uh, El Dorado. Um, 
Got the nice little lake behind me here. We're right off of Guadalupe, so I've got a little bit of traffic noise behind me, but um, you can kind of get a general feel of what this neighborhood looks like. Um, the Just to go over a little bit more information, just to kind of get a better general idea on what you're gonna get with this price point. Number one, lot size. So the uh, lot size for the particular listing that we were looking at, it's gonna be around 6,000 square foot. So kind of a smaller lot size. There are, uh, you know, neighborhoods that just across the street here that have larger lot sizes is going to be a higher price point. But for that price point, that's kind of what you're going to see. Um, HOA, it's only $35 a month. Um, so from an HOA point of view, um, not too bad on that. Location wise is fantastic because, you know, you're, you're very easy access to the 60, the 60s within a couple miles. You're two miles directly uh, west of downtown Gilbert. So if you want to get into downtown Gilbert and all the action over there, you've got that. But there's, there's all sorts of great places to go anywhere around here. So definitely a solid location, um, lots of cool views, lots of greenery, uh, trees, grass, that type of thing. So uh, a lot of positives when you're coming to look at this neighborhood. All right, guys, we are now at stop number two. I've got uh, the, the house behind me that we're gonna talk to you about in this community that we're gonna talk to you about. We are in the Springs community now in Chandler. Um, the house behind me, this is a three bed, two and a half bath, 1769 square foot house listed for 550. So wanted to compare the two 550 price points, the one in Gilbert and the one in Chandler, give you kind of an idea on what you're gonna get. Um, show you around the neighborhood, show you the community. Um, the cool thing on this one here in Chandler is that these are all kind of lake um, homes. So right behind them on a lot of these homes, you're gonna have little lakefront um, areas where you can put kind of pontoon boats, stuff like that. N nothing gas powered, but uh, something that you can kind of float around in and have something in your backyard. So cool uh, setup on that. Again, I'll pop some pictures up so you can get a general idea on what it looks like. So let's tour this neighborhood a little bit, give you an idea. Um, just kind of cruising around, uh, lots to like. Very uh, peaceful, quiet, lots of greenery, lots of trees. Um, you know, this, this neighborhood was probably built in the 90s, I'm guessing. So um, yeah, mature landscape and everything looks really nice. So let's take a quick tour and then we'll come back with some more info. All right, wanted to uh, bring you guys to kind of uh, a couple of the areas, kind of give you an idea on what um, some of these uh, water front areas look like, or at least the water in the back of the yards. You got some areas that it's just a little bit of water. Again, you can come out, have a little patio area, a little sitting area out on the water, nice and peaceful, um, very shaded, very green. Um, and then you can have something like this. I'll walk across the street here so you can see, you know, a little bit larger area as far as if somebody has like a boat and that type of thing. So here you can see, you know, a lot more space <clears throat> where, you know, somebody can actually get out on the water and float around a little bit. Um, and then you have these little kind of areas here where maybe it's waterfront, but you don't have a boat. So a lot of different uh, cool little things to, to see around here. One little correction, these were, um, at least the house that I looked at was built in 85. So these are probably more 80s built homes. Um, so keep that in mind. But again, you know, very nice on the exterior, a lot of nice curb appeal, that type of thing. Um, lot size here, the, the, they look to be, right around the 7,000 square foot, so a little bit bigger than what that was in Gilbert, um, as far as the same price range, that type of thing. Um, and then HOA on this one with uh, the lakes, you're gonna have 102 a month, so a little bit steeper HOA to be in this type of community. So um, the interesting thing, again, like we're, we're gonna look at price points, we're gonna look at stuff that what they're listed for. Obviously, some of these are gonna get multiple offers and go over that, so it's gonna be really what, what it looks like at the end, but Overall, it gives you kind of a general idea on um, you know, what to compare when you're looking at uh, Gilbert versus Chandler. 
and also you know location that type of thing so a lot of things to consider for sure a couple other things worth note um, from a location perspective you're really close to downtown Chandler in this one so a lot of access there you're actually pretty close to a lot of the Gilbert uh, entertainment hotspots between downtown Gilbert Santan that type of thing as well um, all of them you're gonna be able to get to pretty quickly especially with the access um, that you have to the 202 in this location so again like close to the entertainment close to good schools um, you know quiet peaceful neighborhood and then close to the freeways to get in and out when you need to real quick you guys if you are enjoying this video and if it is helpful to you at all please consider hitting that like button leave us a comment below definitely let us know what you think if we can improve anything at all um, by you hitting that it definitely helps us to figure out if we're doing the right content and share it to other people we appreciate it All right, guys, uh, we are at stop number three. I've got this house directly behind me here. Um, we are still in Chandler. We are on the south side now of Chandler. We just drove south of the 202. We're in kind of a, a newer development. All, all the stuff on the uh, south of the 202 tends to be a little bit newer. You still have a lot of open fields and stuff. There's a lot of construction going on. There's a lot of, there's a lot of growth um, around here. Um, this community was built in 2018, so you kind of get a general idea on some of the newer construction there. And then this house here is three bed, two bath, 1712 square foot listed at 599. So again, we'll pop some pictures up on screen so you can get a, a good idea of what it looks like. Um, and so, you know, these, these homes are all pretty close together here. We're here at the Enclave at Hamilton Ranch. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll tour around and kind of give you an idea on what it looks like. So here you're gonna get a little bit newer, um, but you know still pretty small lot size kind of tucked together a little bit further south so we'll show you what that looks like we'll kind of show you uh some of the the little perks of the neighborhood as well all right um wanted to come back kind of share share the little community space it's kind of the uh kids area slash um, place that you can come barbecue and that type of thing. They did a cool little job on this. It's a uh, fun little setup. Um, it's pretty quiet here right now. Not a lot of people taking advantage of it, but it's just, you know, nicely done. Um, kind of fun. It looks like, you know, there should be water that kind of flows down this at some point. Uh, maybe it's when you want to turn it on, that type of thing. But anyway, from uh, overall perspective of the, the community, since we're talking about lot sizes, uh, we were talking about kind of the, the um, uh, how everybody's tucked in together. These lot sizes are about 5,200 square foot. So just keep that in mind when you're looking around. Again, you're gonna get a little bit of a backyard, just pretty tiny, and you're gonna be probably pretty close to your neighbors. Um, it is a gated community, so you do have that as a uh, potential bonus if you like it. The HOA on this community is 117 a month. Um, so, you know, again, you're, you're pretty close access to the 202. You're going to be able to be pretty close to, um, a lot of the, you know, entertainment districts, that type of thing. You might not be as close as some of the other neighborhoods, um, but there are a lot of positives, um, down here in the South part of Chandler and in the South part of Gilbert too. So, um, definitely keep an eye on it. Just, uh, is going to be depending on maybe your drive time. If you have any kind of commute, that type of thing as far as far as how far south you might want to be. Um, but there are a lot of uh, positives around here. So uh, we're going to hit the next stop again in uh, Gilbert um, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, guys, we are at our fourth and final stop of the day here. We are back in Gilbert. We took the trek on the 202 heading east, and uh, we are just off of Williams Field Road in the 202. Um, we're here at the Gateway Community. I've got the, the house uh, behind me here. It is coming soon, so they're not 100% on the market yet, but this is a three bed, two bath, 2029 square foot home that is gonna be listed at 598. 
uh, three car garage, RV gate, uh, a little bit larger lot. I think this community is gonna give you a little bit uh, larger lot. I think this one's just over 9,000 square foot. So um, we'll take a tour around this community. Um, I'll pop some pictures on screen so you can see the general condition of what you're gonna see over here in Gilbert. We'll kind of uh, tour around, um, show you the differences. We're, we're on the north side of the 202 here. We're actually on the east side, but uh, just right off of it. So easy access into everything, but just further east. So um, something to keep in mind when it comes to location. So let's uh, tour around here. I'll come back with a few more details and then we'll go over um, kind of a wrap up of Gilbert versus Chandler overall. All right, guys, here at the uh, community space for Gateway, I, I think you can kind of see some of the differences when you see some of the older communities. Um, you do have a, a community pool behind us here, so that's nice, not taken advantage of right now. It might be a little still cool in the pool, um, but, and then you kind of see, again, a little kind of basketball court. You see the greenery here, um, not as well kept up as some of the newer neighborhoods, but maybe not as used. Might not be an issue for you either way, because again, this HOA is gonna be about $64 a month. So from a cost perspective, it might be better to not have to worry about spending a lot of money for uh, neighborhood upkeep that maybe you might not use. So um, again, it could be a toss up on that, but overall there's a lot of positives about the neighborhood. Again, from a location perspective, um, your easy access to a lot of stuff. You're right across the street, almost from Santan Mall and everything that's around there. Still not gonna be too far to get on the 202. Um, and jump in anywhere into town. Um, obviously can be close to the uh, downtown Gilbert area as well. So um, when it comes to overall Chandler versus Gilbert, I think as we've seen in this video, there's gonna be a lot of uh, similarities as we've talked about before. So, you know, I, I think if you're looking at one, you should definitely look at the other. It's gonna be a situation on maybe how far do you want to be if you wanna be on the south side of Gilbert, south side of Chandler, or all the way on the east side. So from a drive perspective, that's gonna be something that you have to kind of think about um, from an overall, you know, pros and cons of G Gilbert versus Chandler. I think there's so much to like about both. I think Gilbert obviously has a little bit better downtown entertainment district than Chandler does right now, but Chandler is still pretty good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's bad. I think there's a lot of positives on that too. Um, it, it's a tough one. There's a lot to like about both. There's a lot of similarities. I think Gilbert overall has um, maybe, you know, just overall appeal is maybe a, a little bit better than Chandler just because there are certain older parts of Chandler um, that maybe people see uh, that might not be as desirable but man it's really a toss-up I've lived in both areas and uh, I thought that both were great and and just touring around now just kind of even seeing some stuff that I don't always get to see very often anymore there's still a lot of positives so I think um, you know, one of the things that I'm seeing is definitely Gilbert has a little bit more traffic, especially congestion um, on this little south side of the 202 for anybody who's going south in the Queen Creek, southeast, that type of thing. So that might be something to play um, into your decision as well. But overall, I think there are a lot of positives to both. If you guys have any questions at all, definitely reach out to us. We're here to help you. As always, we are gonna put our contact info on screen. Um, we're here to help you out when you guys are trying to make that decision. Wh however difficult it might be, we're here to kind of show you around, show you the neighborhood, show you the cities, all in here in the Phoenix metro area to give you a better idea on what it's gonna like so you don't have to spend all the time when you're coming out here and trying to get everything done in a weekend. That's why we're here to help you. So uh, definitely leave us a comment, leave us a like if it's helpful to you, and um, we will catch you on the next video.